Hey everybody, on this video, I've got an Everest kick cylinder here. Uh, it's got the check pin in it, now there's no drivers or anything else in it. And we're going to pin it up to this key, and we're going to stick it into a padlock to uh, stick on my shed. Currently there's a Harbor Freight padlock on there, which I'm totally fine with security wise. I just uh, want to eliminate the key. I had keyless locks on doors, and now I've got some double cylinder deadbolts with the keyless locks. So. This part here, stick a key in, which holds the check pin in place so you don't lose that. And we've got our drivers right here. And uh, this would be a great time to add some spools or serrated pins if I gave even one shit about the lot being pickable. Or easily pickable, but I do not care. Uh, Harbor Freight one was actually fine with me. So I'm going to go ahead and load some drivers up here. And I will go ahead and speed this part. Speed this up here. Alright, so got our Bible loaded. And uh, I went ahead and measured the key before we started. So we'll go ahead and pin that up real quick here. Everest keys, if anyone's wondering, it's standard Schlag bidding. But you do have to be able to read your handwriting to uh, it correctly here. Alright, so that's pinned up. I'll go ahead and load it back in. Key is actually off a little bit, but I will fix that later. Good enough for me. That some of these keys, these locks were, were used when I got them, so some of the some of the keys were already cut here. Get our padlock open. We got our retainer lug here. This little uh, brass padlock here. Okay, I got it open. It should have a screw right there. some different drivers here and as for my kick cylinder look at this here I'm gonna be using I believe it's going to be, yeah it's this one right here this is the one that's for this kick cylinder with the screw on caps the other one is for that has an actual uh, like a retainer clip so we're gonna go with this one and yeah, this is the, the actual lever Tail piece for a lever. Okay, I'll take our one with the notch in it. That lined up. And our cap. Ok, 
Okay, when you screw these down, you usually want to go as tight as they'll go and then back it off one. And then if the key is real hard to turn, back it off another one. Okay, I think that's going to be good here, but. Good enough. Okay, I think if I should get one tighter there because the key you'd want it to stay in the lock. So I think we'll go right there. Push it out of the way. Okay, this key's off a tad, so <clears throat> it's the uh, spacing on it, I think. So you pull it out a tad, it'll go the other way, which means the spacing is a hair off, so. Now that I know that, I'll fix that in post-production. So our lug goes on, and cylinder drops in. Okay, turn the keys, it's all the way in there. And uh, so now we lock this, it should snap locked. Oops, you dumbass. That's actually okay. Has a. Uh, I might go grab a different key. This is pissing me off. <clears throat> All right, so that's in. Screw in. I love these. These little locks are pretty, pretty heavy duty too. Yeah, it's, you know, he nice heavy feeling lock. Right, so that screws in. retaining all right so that's all pinned up and ready to go and, uh, I guess um, that'll do it for this video and then uh, the next one here I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can go ahead and pick it on camera just for the hell of it and then go stick it outside to uh, Enjoy the uh, Florida sunshine. So that'll do it for this video, and uh, we'll talk to everybody later.